Oh my goodness gracious, bro. What? Oh, you bro. What? No, dude. What the hell, Ricky? What's going on, guys? So today we're going to be working on Carlos's hatch. If you guys remember right from last season, this thing, uh, we were at a uh, like a little test, like a little, I guess it was actually an event, a little no prep event trying to race some turbo civics. And uh, Carlos here welded, at least what we think, he welded the uh, clutch to the actual pressure plate in the flywheel. So he went ahead and he got a uh, replacement disc because he has a, uh, a competition super single. So we're going to take it apart today, see what the damage is, and uh, see if we can just like resurface the flywheel and maybe. Uh, if worst case scenario, get a new flywheel and see if we can save this pressure plate. Hopefully this works. Yeah. It's more budget friendly for sure. <laughs> yeah. So the reason why it failed, I know some people have a hard time or they don't like these super singles, but this thing makes like what? 325 horsepower? Yeah, like 325, 330. And so it doesn't make a lot of power. However, this clutch is just really old. So he bought this car with a, a blown up motor in it. And this is a clutch that was in it already. So when we took it apart, it was really hot spotted, but we just sent it to get it done for the season. So uh yeah it yeah, probably he told me to replace it and i was like nah it's all right It'll yeah good. <laughs> i thought he had replaced it but i guess i guess not so here we are we're gonna fix it today though it's all good so we're gonna start off by uh pretty simple just take the tranny out just take the wheels off but we gotta put on jack stands take the wheels off take the axles out take the tranny out and then i guess we'll assess the damage yeah ready yeah i'm ready let's, let's do, do it. it actually real quick before we forget we got the new stickers uh, Carlos is gonna find some space here to put some of the new stickers on his toolbox. On side, so we're gonna put them yeah, here he's got he's got a pretty to, uh, full. We're gonna put them next to Liam Nissan over here. Oh, sick! At slower than you, I actually got Derek's shirt on today. Go check him out. At slower than you, what's up, Derek? I need one of them stickers. What's so we, we got? The, we put the two rivals up up here. Oh shit! I know he's calling me out the other day on his live stream saying is it that really? we haven't raced yet. And I was like, dude, I ain't trying to get gapped. I don't know, dude. His truck is bigger than yours. I know, dude. He got a huge sticker, but CRX7 sticker, they look pretty cool. And then we got Carlos's hatch. They look really good. They're really cool. Carlos had uh, one of his friends make us some art, and then we had a local place make us some stickers. So kind of hard to film. They look dope, though. We're going to be... Um, Go check them out on the website, link down below. I still have like, I think 10 of the old RX-7 shirts. So with every single RX-7 shirt purchase, we're just gonna give you guys two of the stickers. So go get them while they last. And then other than that, the stickers are, you can get both stickers for 10 bucks. So go get them. If you wanna support the channel, it's the best way to do it for both of us. So we can do race car stuff this season. So if we have a race season this year. Yeah, if yeah, yeah <laughs> that's very true. If we have a freaking race season. So go check it out on the link down below. Yeah, let's get started. Buy some tools. Let's go on the shopping spree. Shopping spree? Yeah, bro. Dude, you don't need a shopping spree. You just need to organize your Bro, tools. I don't know where most of my stuff is at. <laughs> I used to have everything all organized, and now, ever since we took my uh, toolbox over there to my parents, I don't know where anything is. Now you just you just gotta organize. You got plenty of tools. <laughs> we just got I, yeah, dude. As we say, organize, and we just have chaos everywhere. <laughs> but we got uh, the training out, so we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, the pressure plate off, and then see what the clutch disc actually looks like. Obviously, the disc is probably gonna be destroyed and then we'll see how much damage there is to the flywheel and the uh, pressure plate bro was it even stuck <laughs> just kidding oh my goodness gracious bro what oh you broke bro what? no dude what the hell ricky you recording dude your flywheel bolts were loose bro so okay that's all good though. All right, so this is the thing, right? This sucks, but 
hopefully we can fix it. I don't know how hard it's gonna be, but so as you guys didn't just see that right there, this fell out as Carlos took the clutch off. So you know what, the dude? clutch didn't get stuck to it. Dude. What happened was the flywheel bolts are actually backed out. Will you show them that bolt right there that's loose? Oh, dude, even this one's loose. They're all loose. Look, look at the one that's already backed out though right there. Other one, yeah. This one? This See one? that one? It's backed out. That one right there. Dude. But look at how hot spotted it is as well. So maybe we'll get a new flywheel as well. So. Fuck, dude. Yeah. That one's backed well, out. Hey, bro. <laughs> bro, so you know what? I just saw a uh, freaking Ghost Boy Aki, uh, when he was putting a car together, he's like, you always have to lock tight the flywheel yes. bolts. So I was, I was about like, to say, sure I didn't do that. I was about to say, so this like sport front wheel drive thing, right? Or like these these fast Hondas that have, like they rev high and stuff like this. They have a lot of harmonics that go through them. So the dampener does help. We're gonna get him a dampener. He does not have a dampener. But the thing with these, like what everybody says is, don't torque them to factory. Put red Loctite all over them and use the biggest impact as example that one right there yeah, I didn't and have send them on then. home yeah i didn't have it back so, then, so the best way to do it is you can technically torque them i'd put red loctane on them however i would use a big impact and impact the shit out of them or like torque them a little bit over what they're supposed to be torqued i know you shouldn't do that but like normally when these flywheels come off you're lucky that you broke a bolt instead of the flywheel coming off yeah because that would have messed everything Dude, up i know max and morgan when they break a flywheel they normally destroy a whole motor because it yeah. destroys the oil pump and yeah, it messes well, up the whole harmonics yeah, that, yeah. so that's what that's you're what lucky that this happened and it wedged the clutch and we shut the car off i'm not lucky bro i'm blessed yeah this so blessed so yeah we, at least you know what happened we'll try to see uh we'll take the flywheel off and we'll see about getting that bolt out hopefully it didn't break too far maybe if it didn't i hope it didn't break inside the flywheel i hope there's some still sticking out because then we can weld a nut to it and take it yeah, out it looks like it's so we will uh <laughs> take the flywheel off and then we'll show you guys what we're working with oh, okay so <laughs> oh man it's just like never ending huh race yeah. car stuff dude so we took the flywheel off and uh if you can see from the back of where the flywheel mounts to the crank you can tell that it's not looking good for the crank on this motor so really. there is no way to save let me show you guys the crank right here there's no really no way to save that so it got all messed up you can see the broken bolt in one of them yeah. all the bolts had like all the threads are messed up and like all wobbled out and stripped out and then it ate at the back side of the crank so there's really no way to fix this inside the car you can't really like sand this flat or anything like that like the flywheel is never going to sit flat on that crank again so even if i buy a harbor freight weld uh <laughs> sander or what yeah sand it with a da yeah that. there really is like and you can just wobble oh yeah look at that you can see how messed up it is so we're not really sure what happened we ain't gonna blame nobody or do anything like that shit happens is what it is uh this thing was thrown together like four or five years ago when he got it so it's uh it's all good nothing we can do about it now besides fix it right yeah so he's gonna hit a four piston and uh probably send it back to them just to uh what do you think you just want to have buy them and, just uh, go through the bottom end basically just put a new crank in it and stuff too and it might as well yeah i mean if i'm shipping out already to them might as well get new bearings and yeah just have it ready for another for next year's season or something we'll, well see. we'll see we'll see how busy they are maybe they're not very busy with everything that's going on so or may or maybe somebody everybody's building their motors right now <laughs> right because they got maybe time. <laughs> maybe we'll maybe see. so we'll have carl's hit up four pistons see what they say of course it's going to need a new crank the cool thing about this is it's a super 99 so it is just a stock crank correct yes that's right. so i imagine they might do some i don't know if they like machine the journals or do anything like that i don't know who knows but he can send it back to them they can fix it it's probably just better to let them do it it is their motor it is a really nice setup we don't want to do anything to it it's been a fantastic motor minus this i guess <laughs> yeah but this is not so, this is not their fault you know? yeah so. not their fault uh is what it is should happen so we'll uh, contact them see what happens they'll probably pull the motor out at some point once he contacts them and see sees how soon he can ship it to him yeah. to get it fixed so it's so. looking like maybe uh integra for this race season i don't know i guess we'll just have to see bro i'm <laughs> i'm down with that but let us know down below what you, what you should do with the integra i say take off those 17s put some 15s on it get some 26s raise up the front a little bit and then have some fun with some nice like actual like slicks it on sounds it sounds like you're trying to revive the crx dude yeah, yeah, dude, we got a monster, monster truck. truck in. Or what? Well, we won't look as much of a monster truck because it's an Integra. Yeah, that's true. So it we, is could, pretty big car we could put like some. We might be able to fit a twenty-four on it, but I don't think because the five lug. I don't think the thirteens fit on the five lug. So mm, no. I don't think they do. So dude, you have to get smallest, a fifteen. Yeah, it has to be a fifteen. So, so we'll but, we, but we get a twenty-six inch slick, kind of like uh, Kyle's Prelude. So yeah. 
We'll just we'll see. We'll see, dude. Now you can have fun with the Integra. It's all good, bro. That's why you got two Should race you cars, right? Sponsor me, bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. dude have two oh, cars. We'll drive, they said it was I mean, fun. Actually, nobody told me that. I I told that to myself. Have all have, have two cars. It'd be fun. But no, dude. it's not really that much fun. <laughs> or, bro, you know what we do? We take this tranny right here. Throw it in the Integra, bro. Oh no, that's not gonna work. It's that's all motor gear. <laughs> bro, <laughs> hey, <it's>, a, <laughs> I guess yeah. It's still a dog box setup though. Yeah. Oh, I guess it has a really short dude, final. Yeah, like huh? I'd be like, well, I guess, dude, it's almost around the same as what it is right now, because 130 miles an hour. Is I'm just saying, I, I guess if you ever break a tranny and this thing is still down, we could just slap the dog box in it. That one already has a twin disc too. Yeah, I guess. Oh shit, bro! I got I got his mind looking. Yeah. Look, look, we'll, look, look, we'll his, mind's, his mind's racing. Yeah. But anyways, guys, go get some stickers. That's going to do it for this video. I don't really know what else we can do. Uh, we're going to get some stuff. We're going to talk to people, figure out some stuff, see what's going on, see what we can do, see how fast he can get it uh, fixed. So. I mean, if they buy a lot of stickers, they may be sooner or later. Yeah, go buy some freaking <laughs> stickers. It's 10 bucks for both stickers. So go check them out. I don't know how fast I can get them shipped out just because of this whole uh, virus situation thing. But y'all are awesome. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sucks about the car, dude, but we'll get it fixed. That's what it is, man. Yep. See you guys. Yep, we'll see you in the next video.